do. Okay, um, my article entitled Electrostimulation Training Effects on the Physical Performance of Ice Hockey Players. Um, so the target population of this study was uh, young ice hockey players, ages um, 22 years of age, about plus or minus four and a half years. Um, the type of intervention that was used was NMES. Uh, the parameters used was having the patient seated um, in a leg extension machine with the knee at 60 degrees of um, knee flexion. We had both quadriceps stimulated at the same time for the purposes right now. We're just going to do one leg just to you know, give you an idea. Um, so we had two pairs of the positive electrodes. These were five by five um, centimeters placed on the vastus medialis and vastus lateralis. And then up on here, we have the negative electrodes. These are uh, placed about one to three centimeters below the inguinal ligament um, in the femoral triangle area. And then as far as setting up with your NMES machine, they had a pulse at 85 hertz and that was lasting for 250 microseconds. Each contraction elicited lasted four seconds with a rest time of 20 seconds. There were a total of 30 contractions completed during the sessions. Um, in total, there were, the intervention was over nine sessions over a three week period with 12 minutes per session and three sessions per week. Um, the outcomes that were used to measure were um, twerk, squat jump, and 10 meter skate time. And um, as far as those outcomes, the higher torque was shown based on this uh, E-STEM procedure. And there was a decrease in the squat jump, and but there was an increase, or excuse me, a decrease in skating time and the 10 meter skate time. Um, so overall, I mean, I feel like for patients that are trying to prevent injury or have quad weakness, this would be a beneficial um, treatment to use on young patients um, that have this sort of problems. So.